Hey guys, I got another thrift haul for y'all this week. I don't normally go shopping every single week, but I had errands to run in another town. So of course I had to go check out their thrift stores and see what kind of goodies they had. So this is just gonna be a thrift haul showing you everything I bought when I was out and about running errands the other day. If you are new to my channel, I am Julie. I do lots of thrift hauls. And then I do thrift store flips where I show you what I did with these items. So if you like those kind of videos, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, all those fun things. All right, let's get to the haul. I'm just going to grab stuff and show y'all where I got it from. I think I went to three thrift stores. Um, okay, so I know this is probably a trash can, but I have an idea. The bottom is wood. So I'm thinking about like possibly distressing the bottom and then doing the baking soda paint texture technique to make this look like a crock and do like a fun little stamp on it. And this is a perfect size to put like a tall lavender arrangement in. I just immediately thought of that when I saw it. That's a stamp in there, not dirt or yuckiness. <laughs> just so y'all know. I just realized when I put it up on camera that looks gross, but that's just a sticker. Um, so yeah, I thought this was just the perfect size for a lavender arrangement and the perfect canister to make a crock out of. This is going to be a cool transformation. I might have to do this on camera. Trash can to amazing crock lavender arrangement, right? Okay, look how cute this is. Oh, and I paid $3 for that one and it'll probably sell for $40 once it has the lavender all in it. So this is like a little croc picture. Picture is so cute. I don't mind the colors on it, but I definitely wish it wasn't like a cowboy boot with some floral in it. So I, it's just um, handmade pottery in Texas. I really don't think it's worth anything, but I'll look it up. But I paid $2.75 for it. And it actually might look cute if I just put a stamp on this side and not painted it and then like this side you can put towards the wall if you want so I may do that this is just needs to be cleaned up that's not anything that's not gonna come off so yeah I was like two dollars and seventy five cents for this cute little picture that is adorable so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet but I don't know I'm open to the suggestions if y'all think I should paint it or not Okay, I cannot leave this at the thrift store. It is a dollar. It's a little wicker duck. I mean, the bow has just got to go. The bow has got to go. Let's get it off right now. I can't look at it no more. Look how cute. And it has these little coasters in it. Like, it's new old stock. It still has a price tag on it. Oh, it doesn't have a price. But it's definitely old. It's definitely cute. I mean, this would just look so cute on somebody's kitchen shelving. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. What y'all think? Cute or not? I like it. Oh, and then I got these. So I have some bigger ones like this on my kitchen shelves. Can y'all see that? It's a little beaker glass and it just looks really cute, you know, to put floral or I'll have tea towels rolled up in it. And I like to do like a little set of three or like a little vignette if I can. So I just thought these little beaker glasses will look so cute on my shelves. They were a dollar and I am keeping them for me. <laughs> I'm going to try not to keep too much stuff on this haul, but you know how that goes. Okay. I always pick up apothecary jars when I find them and this one has a flat top. So it is perfect for me to be able to glue some kind of finial or some kind of like cool thing that I find on here. I think that'll be so cute. And this was a dollar. Y'all always pick up apothecary jars when you find them. They are great for decorating. They are great for selling. I mean, it's just like a no-brainer if you find them for a good deal. Y'all, look at these brass utensils. I paid five dollars for these but I feel like that was totally worth it. I could make its own custom hanger out of wood with some cute little hooks and sell this whole set for probably $25 maybe. Look how pretty. I love 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 this. So adorable. I was 
excited to find these. I actually have some good copper stuff in this haul. Copper is hot right now. Copper, brass, all the metals. Okay, this pan was only 50 cents, but I grabbed it because I think I've used all my pans and sold them already. And I wanna do another video with this. So I just grabbed it in case I needed one for a video. I like the size of it. So yeah, that's what this is for. In case I need that for a video, I'm gonna have coming up. So what's this? Oh, this is, I always thrift um, clothes for my kids while I'm out thrifting. Under Armour shirt. I think it was 25 cents um, Under Armour hoodie for Waylon. I've been finding lots of stuff for him lately, but he needed some clothes. Look how cute this is. This was a dollar and it's all rusty and blue and faded. So I think I'm just going to go ahead. Of course, I'm going to take this off and replace it with some jute twine, but I think I'm just going to put a coat of white paint on it and leave it outside for a few days and let all that natural rust come through on all the corners. And I think that'd be so cute. And then I'll decide if I want to put it on a piece of wood or just leave it as is for some ice cake and put floral in. But I thought this was so cute. I love finding these like little half wall hanger things. Love those. Okay, this I'm keeping because I thought this would be good for staging. I know I don't understand this um, obsession with these, what they're called blessing beads or whatever. I mean, it's okay, but I don't have any in my house, but I see a lot of people stage with them and it does look good. So I'm like, let me grab this, but I'm thinking I might take the cross off and put an oyster on here and that would be really cute to stage with all of my stuff. So I paid $3 for this. It was originally $17 at Hobby Lobby, which I'm sure is 50% off, but still. I just grabbed it and that was my reasoning. I was just going to keep it to stage because I thought that was a good idea. Okay, I don't even know how much I paid for this, but it was at a thrift store where things were not expensive at all. Um, but how cute is this? So somebody needs this to hang up in their kitchen. I love it. It's already the perfect color. I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm going to sell it as is. I wonder if it spins though. Oh, it does a little bit. Yeah. So cute. I love these. Look, it even has a thing on the back where you could hang a tea towel from it. So you can hang it up and have a tea towel hanging on it. That'd be cute. If y'all ever find these old rusty crusty treat cheese graters, like any kind of treat. Why can I not say cheese? Any kind of cheese grater, y'all pick it up. They sell well. People just love them to decorate in their kitchen with. They got the the rectangle ones, they got the triangle ones. If y'all find a treat, cheese grater, pick it up. Okay, this is gonna be for another video. I actually bought a set of ducks like this before and sold them. I can't, I think I just left them white, but this one's gonna get painted in a video. I just wanna do another like painting technique video. So I gathered a few things to use for that. And y'all look at this, one dollar one dollar for this copper pot how pretty is this look at that omg <laughs> i mean y'all somebody needs this to hang up on their wall like look how good it looks with white i love it love it and then look at these is this not the cutest ever look how cute these are so they have like a little spout what were these used for they have these little spouts on them. I don't bake, so like, I don't know what this stuff is for, but love it. Look how cute. So this would look great just hanging up. Oh, it's measuring cups. This one's one third and this one's one half. Oh, I was thinking like tiny little pots to like, I don't know, melt sugar or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't bake. <laughs> I really thought these were like tiny pots. Measuring cups make so much more sense. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have the set. So I would definitely just hang them up as decor if you have little spots um, that you're hanging stuff up. Love those. Oh my God. Y'all, sometimes I just, oh, oh, y'all. 
this was a find. I think it was like 25 cents, but it is definitely hand blown. Like, look, it is not perfect. It is all wonky. It is full of bubbles. And then you see that part underneath. You can tell this is hand blown. So this in like a shop would be expensive, I'm sure. Anything hand blown is expensive, but I love the handmade. Look at this because it is handmade. So I was, I mean, and you can tell, like there was, this was on a shelf full of glass and you can just tell when something is handmade. I love this. I'm probably keeping it for myself. Should I? Should I sell it? I don't know. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to keep a lot of stuff, and then I keep feeling like I'm saying I'm keeping stuff. Okay, these next things for sure I'm keeping for myself, <laughs> y'all. I'm bad. Um, but look how cute. It was a dollar for all four of them. They were 25 cents each. And they're, I mean, they're probably just from like Hobby Lobby or something, but they're, everything's cuter when it's smaller. So I'm going to put this on my windowsill by my sink and my kids will bring me in like little weeds from the yard and I never know what to do with them. So now I can put this up on my windowsill and as soon as their weed dies, I can go get them to pick me a new one. And they are four of them. So they each have their own little weed base. Isn't this so cute? I was excited when I saw that. I didn't have that idea until I saw them. I'm like, yes, weed bases. I need those. Y'all, this, um, what is it called? Tray riser was $3. Look how cute it is. It has like these pretty little feet. It does have some stamped, uh, pressed tin on it, but it's like not fleur de lis. It's like a cute little design. I really like this. This is going to look great painted up and distressed. I was excited to find this. Like, I just like the lines on it. It will look so cute. This would be perfect for some fruit. It just has like that shape to put fruit in it. $3 for this. I probably sell it for like 18, just depending on the time it takes me to paint it and fix it up. Y'all, how cute are these? Look at these little brass turtles. Y'all know I love brass. At one time, I'm sure they were actually used to put soap in. That's what it looks like. They are so cute. So cute. So if you need some brass little turtles just to put by your sink with some soap. Oh my God. I might have to put this one by my sink in here. So cute. It would be cute to put rings in too. Oh yeah. That'd be good. Okay, I got this was this was two dollars and i just really like the colors on it i like the matting on it how, how it has this pop of yellow and i think if i painted the frame white it would just update the whole piece i mean i do like wood it looks nice but i don't know i think with the the matting it kind of outdates it and if i just painted the frame white and distressed it a little bit that it would update the whole piece and i think it might look amazing in my girl's bathroom um, I feel like I've been collecting stuff for there, so I need to decorate that room so I can decide what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to not, not going to keep, but there's lots of bright colors going on in there, and I feel like this is kind of the vintage look that I have going in there, so that's the plan for this. I felt like $2. It was really pretty. I get excited when I find good art. I'm pretty sure this is just a reprint. It doesn't look hand done, but very pretty. I like this. Then, books. So, I got some orders for book stacks, and I was running low on books, and I passed by the library. So, at the library, not in my town, but in the other town I was in, the books are 10 cents. Because what happens is, lots of people donate books to the library, but most of them they can't actually use. So, they just put all those books out for 10 cents, and there's tons of them. Like, I don't buy them all. There's still plenty for people to pick from and read. The library knows exactly what I'm doing with them. They don't care. Um, so yeah, 10 cents is a great deal for these book stacks. So I went by and picked that up. And then, oh, I went to a boutique. 
So I went to La Maison de Fleur in Pierre Art, Louisiana, my friends on that boutique, and I went, I saw they had a bunch of jean shorts they put out, and they were about to have a live sale. They do live sales and they ship if y'all want to check them out. So I wanted to stop by before they did their live sale so what I could see what they had. I bought these shorts. How cute. They're a really great fit and the inseam is nice. It's like two inches, you know, I don't like to wear those booty shorts. I know these seem like they, they pro probably look kind of small on camera, but they're not. They look really good on me. And I don't think my husband watches my videos anymore, so I can tell y'all what I paid for them. They were $45. I know. I know. I am so cheap, and I paid $45 for shorts, but I do not mind paying up for my bottoms. This shirt is thrifted, okay? So that's kind of the same way that I decorate my house with thrifted stuff and then you spend money on more expensive pieces. That's how I dress myself. I will pay, no problem, $50 for a nice pair of jeans, shorts, because I don't have a lot of them. So I prefer to invest in bottoms that I'm going to wear a lot more, that fit me well, that look good. And I feel like tops are easier to find. So I can thrift my tops and pay up for my bottoms. I mean, I can go buy a pair of $10 shorts, but if I don't love them and I don't wear them, I've just wasted $10. So that's how I think about it. I have pieces that I invest in and I have pieces that I do not invest in. Jean shorts, I'm gonna invest in. I'll wear these all summer long. I feel like it's changing the color. Um, so these are super cute. They're the Judy Blue brand, size small. They're cute on me. I like them. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> no, I spent that. Oh, I'm short. Oh, I got some earrings. These are kind of like the ones I had lost. Y'all remember when I went shopping and I lost some earrings? And so these are the store that I bought them from. And I called them like, hey, I lost these earrings. I really love them. Can you give me some more? And they are. They're waiting for them to come in. So shopping local definitely has its advantages. So it has like this little animal print here and then I love the little gold ones and then these right here, super cute. They're going crazy. And these were $15, so that's not bad for three sets of earrings. And then I got a little present for Ryan. Her birthday was last week, but she was supposed to have friends come over to sing her happy birthday since her, um, her birthday was in the middle of the week and she had baseball practice. We couldn't have people over, but then I ended up getting sick with the stomach virus. So we had to cancel that, but I had already bought her some. So I guess I need to give it to her. I kind of forgot what I got her. And they gift wrap over there. Oh yeah. I brought her this cute little necklace. Oh, she's going to love this. I need to give it to her. And this was, oh, I don't have a price on it. I don't know. Their jewelry's not that expensive. It was probably like $10 or something. Oh, duh. They probably took the price tag off since it was a gift. That's for her. So that's what I got from La Maison de Fleur. Y'all check them out. Y'all like that stuff. Like I said, they do live sales. They ship. All of that good stuff. And I paid a dollar for this little tin canister uh, pitcher. So cute, right? That'll definitely get a paint job, unless like somebody wants it as is, but it's like definitely fake chippiness going on here. Not real chippiness. Probably from Hobby Lobby. It doesn't have a sticker on it, but I'm assuming that's where it's from. And then I bought this big basket. I believe I paid $3 for it. It's still, it's new old stock once again. It still has the tags from the store on, but this is a very sturdy, super nice basket. So y'all remember that basket I made in the girls' laundry room? I was thinking this one would be perfect to do the same because it is so like nice and sturdy and that would be one that I could sell. And it'll probably get a paint job, white, distress. Y'all, I got a light going crazy over there. I hope it's not showing up. Um, yeah, it, it needs a paint job. It looks so great, painted white, distressed. 
but when you find like a nice sturdy basket pick that up like there's so many things you can do with baskets and is that everything all right i think that is everything i purchased while i was out and about running errands i hope y'all enjoy this video y'all leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought that I got the best deal on, what was your favorite item, and if you are like me and sometimes splurge on more quality items. I don't know, I just feel like it kind of gives it a more curated look, whether it's in your house or in your wardrobe, if you have a little bit of thrifted stuff, a little bit of handmade stuff, and a little bit of more expensive stuff. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I'm just trying to justify spending more money on stuff. <laughs> oh, y'all let me know what y'all think and if y'all are the same way. All right. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching and give this video a big.